This is a shipment from the Game Crafter in Madison, Wisconsin. And they're one of the few companies in the world that will make uh, single prototypes of uh, board games. Uh, so I'm very excited to take a look at the latest uh, prototype of the astronomy board game that I've been working on, uh, which is about the stars within 10 parsecs, or about 33 light years. This is, of course, still very much uh, prototype art. Uh, but uh, I think I might need to change the, uh, the star color a little bit because right now they sort of look like half stars and half sliced tomatoes. Uh, the game is called Gowniboo uh, and uh, it's, you can call it Gunnyboo if you want, uh, but according to the internet, uh, the uh, U is pronounced like America or about, so it's Gawneyboo. Uh And uh, it has my favorite uh, Johannes Kepler uh, quote on it, uh, and uh, not much more right now. Uh, so uh, one of the things I'd like to check out is whether everything fits in the box, because if it doesn't, I'm probably going to have to adjust the uh, components a little bit. One of the things that's very nice about the Game Crafter is that it tries as much as possible to make your game look just like something that's come from a game shop, so it's very professional, including even shrink wrapping. And the uh, box is also very nice and very solid. All right, so this is the moment of truth. I want to open it up and see. Uh, it feels like it's pretty full, uh, but on the other hand, there's some uh, packaging in here, uh, which maybe we don't need. So I think that uh, it'll probably work out just fine. Uh, and uh, so one of the exciting things about the game is that it's based on a set of cards. Uh, and the uh, cards uh, include a card for every one of the uh, star systems uh, that are the 60th brightest uh, within 10 parsecs. So it's a, a kind of combination of a game and a flashcard system. Uh, and the idea is that we could actually use these cards for multiple games. Uh, but right now uh, we're using it for, for this one. Uh, and uh, I really want to see how the printing of the cards turned out. So I'm going to re remove the shrink wrap from here as well. It's a nice, big, solid box. Okay, and here are the cards. Uh, and uh, they turned out to be uh, quite beautiful, I think. Uh, again, this is just prototype art. Uh, so the hope is uh, that eventually I can bring in an artist and we can change a few of the things. Uh, but I think the text is quite readable. Uh, I might make the image at the top a bit bigger, um, but overall it works pretty well. Uh, and uh, so you can see uh, that I show all the stars uh, in each star system. Uh, and uh, so like for example, uh, Mu Hercules has um, uh, four stars in the system. Uh, and uh, so each of the stars are quite different uh, from each other. Uh, there's a lot of variety. Uh, in addition, uh, we've got uh, some very nice uh, crystals uh, for representing ore. There are two kinds of ore in this game, uh, hand wavium and unobtainium. Uh, and uh, so you can see uh, we've also got uh, different components uh, representing uh, military bases, uh, research bases, uh, and uh, colonies. Uh, and uh, at some point I'll have a gameplay video and uh, I can show uh, that in more detail. But in any case, you can see the beautiful uh, crystals and uh, the value of the uh, ore uh, changes uh, at every, every round. And uh, uh, so uh, we have uh, dice uh, that we can roll to, uh, to set that. And we also have a lot of other components here. 
representing star roots, different kinds of bases and so on. Uh, in, in addition to the other pieces, we also have uh, rockets uh, representing uh, uh, the starships. Uh, and in reality, you couldn't actually get from a star to star with a chemical rocket. Uh, you'd need something like a solar sail. Uh, but uh, at least for the prototype, uh, it's uh, a very distinctive kind of piece. And eventually we might do some miniatures to represent photon sailing ships. But for now, the rockets will have to do. And the final thing uh, in the uh, package is um, actually below that um, is a set of rules uh, which are uh, set up uh, appropriately sized for the uh, for the box and um, a little star catalog uh, and each player gets a star catalog uh, which they can. Uh, used to look up information about stars to decide where to position their research bases. Uh, because based on uh, where you have your bases, you can get points. And so you need to know a little bit about the type of stars that you're visiting. And uh, uh, Game Crafter also has a very cleverly designed uh, board that can fit into this relatively small box. Uh, it folds up into six pieces. 